Hi guys, um, I'm hoping that you're all doing okay. And I, you know, I'm so um, invested in the recent content that I uploaded. And I, I, I think that there are a few more questions, a great many more questions that need to be asked in terms of all the different cases that we've been hearing about missing people and, um, you know, questions that never get answered, questions that get ignored or never get investigated. You know, I'll probably talk more about that later on. And um, I think that tonight's discussion will likely uh, fall into another category of a vitamin and um, another health condition, probably um, diabetes. Diabetes is one that I've been wanting to touch on, but it's so widespread. Um, I feel that there's uh, already so much information out there, and I've been trying to pin it down to information that's correct. And sometimes because I don't have um, symptoms of that condition, I, I want to make sure that I get it right I, because I can't talk from my own personal experience. Um, however, I may just um, speak on hypochloridia, which is something that I did have recently in the past year. And so I, I just may upload something on that because it's something that I hear about a lot and yet people don't have it narrowed down. Doctors, when they hear the symptoms, they just don't know what to think. And so they start suggesting a lot of things that often can seem very bizarre and are usually quite unrelated to the condition. So um, I may do that one instead. We'll have to see. Um, so keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. And um, probably I'll be speaking uh, more on the Maddie case Um just trying to raise some more awareness and ask some more questions that were never answered. And, you know, it's very hard for me to keep that critical tone out of my voice. Um, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> but um, the more that I listen to very serious YouTubers who have managed to get to the bottom of some very interesting bits of information that I suddenly just happen to have discovered. And I'm so grateful for them. One of them is Christina Randall. I'm sure you, many of you have heard about her and probably subscribed to her channel. Um, I highly recommend it. Although it is one of those channels where the spammy links are not blocked. So, um, I have to keep reporting things. But um, anyway, I hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm getting fed up with that. Um, it's a, quite a few big channels that are doing it to me. And I, I think it's time that YouTube starts doing something about the channel um, and, and trying to keep spam out everywhere without people having that extra job of doing it themselves. Um, I think we really need to look into that. And so uh, maybe people um, who, I don't know, I, I'm trying to come up with a solution for YouTube, but it's not my job. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I, I probably, I'm still up in the air about what I want to do today. Um, and so I am actually meeting with the private investigator at the supermarket um, where I, I need to exchange some information with him. And he has a business meeting there. So we're meeting up there. And um, I, unfortunately, it's the same supermarket that is the lot is being investigated by uh, a type of um, uh, people, a group of people who specialize in parking lot shootings and stuff like that. And so this particular parking lot, the whatever it is, 
this person wearing a yellow vest is consistently um, been seen circling my car, my vehicle, and um, was surveilled making very suspicious phone calls regarding my description and my car and my license tag. And um, it happens to be the supermarket where a drunk driver deliberately tried to run into me about two minutes after pulling out of the supermarket. So um, this person has been in jail. Now, I don't care. I think everybody who gets out of jail deserves a fair chance. They've done their time, and that's what it's all about, right? But when I see a person repeatedly um, stalking me physically and circling me, and then he's seen making a phone call about me, and then I am deliberately tried to be run off the road, um, it's going to get investigated. And unfortunately, it isn't, I'm not the only one. Uh, there have been too many instances where this has happened after people pull out of that supermarket and it's organized crime. What can I say? Um, it has to be. I, I've been living around here long enough for enough years to realize that it's someone who knows me and it's someone who is related to the union of the supermarket and possibly other, very likely, other institutions that I um, frequent, like uh, my car insurance and um, maybe hospitals, whatever have you. Um, this harassment is so weird, guys. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to let the investigator do the investigating. And um, we'll have to see what he comes up with because uh, so many people are, are having that place investigated, um, that parking lot location. And um, it's, it's time that it stopped. Um, it's time that it stopped. And I have already spoken to a supervisor there. Um, where the lot is, and nothing happened. So um, you know, the last time that I, I noticed that activity, uh, the attendant was actually stopped in front of all these cars taking pictures. So um, obviously it's for illegal activity, which is being done to me on the road now. And so... Uh, you know, the way I, it's not that I'm helpless in this situation. It's just that for a person to have a job and, and go to work there as a criminal, perpetuating some sort of criminal operation, that's weird. I mean, how f freaking weird is it to take pictures of shoppers' cars while they're not in the cars and then that's why this place is under investigation. They think it's the, um, the employees who have been imprisoned before and they have criminal connections. I don't know. That's why it's being investigated. I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, I, I do have to meet up with the uh, detective today. And um, it is regarding this very situation, and I'm going to be comparing notes with all the other people, and maybe we can initiate a, a class action lawsuit because there have been too many, too many, too many incidences in this lot, and the police need to start looking at their reports very seriously because something is wrong there. You know, there have been so many instances all over the city about crime and shootings and parking lots and doorways. Um, you know, this has to stop. It's ridiculous. Hi, guys. I thought I'd stop off and um, have a coffee before I go in quickly and grab a couple of things that they were out of the other day. So, um, well, you know what? I don't like that kiwi that I purchased. Um, I know it's frozen and it keeps my drinks very cold, but it's got a weird taste to it. Um, so I just may go for the mango 
and maybe some more cherries, something like that. And I also am really looking for the bean burgers because, um, I, you know, when I don't feel like cooking, it's perfect. I have a vegetable and one of those and I'm all set. Uh, so, you know, I hate it when um, I can't find the things that I really need for my weekly uh, staples. So um, we'll have to see if I can find them. I hope I do. Um, after I took that last clip, I wasn't going to be buying anything because I left my well at home. <laughs> so what a waste of a day, huh? And it's a beautiful day too. It's actually about 25 degrees today. It's, it's very cold, so I couldn't even take a walk. But um, uh, I have to go home. I do want to pick up those couple of things and I'll probably end up taking out some takeout dinner so I'll, I'll check back in with you later I am at Walmart approximately three hours later after my coffee and let's see shall we try this again
guys, I'm just waiting on a little delivery here and um, I have a good 10 minutes to kill. So I thought maybe I would talk about Maddie McCann just a little bit more and the whole Julia um, Wendell situation, which I hope clears up very um quickly because she is in need of help and of course so are all the other missing children um i just wanted to mention a few things that have completely baffled me all throughout these years that the mccann uh case has remained a mystery and so um the very first and most obvious um I don't know what you can call it, scam, BS, all those clues that came about with the dogs, the sniffing dogs, which, guys, if you know, um, if you've uh, looked into how dogs are trained to sniff, there are so many, um, so many chemicals that mimic that odor. And I know I shouldn't be talking about this, but I don't trust that police uh, investigation team that put the McCanns through all that. Um, you know, certainly if um, somebody had taken her, they didn't investigate it when they should have. They turned all their focus on the McCanns. And so um, that was a botched investigation for sure, because it turns out, of course, that they, the parents had nothing to do with the, um, you know, that's the way I see it. They had nothing to do with it. I, I do believe it may have been one of their connections. They don't know who it is. Um, I'm sure they have a lot of pretty good ideas and clues, but they don't know, guys. And so um, the first clue, okay, it started with that situation, the sniffing dogs and the blood, which could have come from grout from another um, suite because that's how leaks happen. They, they happen from other apartments. Okay, so that's one kind of um, clue right there that mm -mm, it wasn't a clue at all. It was a big stage put on. Um, I don't know why, maybe because they were protecting the two kidnappers or maybe because they came out dry with nothing and they had to do something to look good. Well, um, the thing is, is that um, all that that detective needed to do was to find out who rented the car. And I've tried to... Um, I've tried, guys. I don't believe that the McCanns had a car when Maddie went missing. I don't think that they had rented a car out at that point. I'm not sure. Then maybe they rented it out immediately, and maybe it was the McCanns who had that car, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I don't think that they had that car. I remember reading somewhere that they had... Uh, a few of them rented out. And so my question remains to this day unanswered by both the detective and any other Iron Lawn source, the books. Um, I have to go through Kate McCann's book again. It, maybe I missed it, but uh, she did give enough clues as to other things that she probably could not speak about legally. But um, as for that, car rental, nobody has information on it. I find that very strange. Unless somebody owned that car and sold it after having Maddie in the car when she was kidnapped. I don't know what to think. But certainly, if the McCanns had rented out that car, we would have an affirmative answer one way or another. But... There's no answer, guys. No answer. And so that um, is one of the most telling 
um, instances of what I believe to be a scam, a scam, something created to divert um, our attention away from the kidnappers, away from the fact that they got away long gone, they were long gone by then, and focus on something that was a, a, a red herring. And believe me, the McCanns, uh, I think that they were so abused, um, not only Maddie, but the, her parents. How, how political can this get? Um, I, I don't know what else to think, but that was a great big put on. The sniffing dogs, they were pups. Um, what, a, what a freak show. I, I don't understand how they got away with that. Anyway, I wanted to throw that out at you. And whether it's a criticism, it should be a criticism because he was asked to answer that question and he never did, not directly. Maybe in a roundabout way, he did answer it. I'd have to check. But I've been scouring the internet. And um, also the other clue of what I said the other day. There was an event going on at the um, Beach Club Resort. And they took away that article. So guys, um, I, I, I believe that this, this is a clue. These are the things that detectives... Other detectives probably tried to look at or missed and didn't look at or didn't get an answer. So um, if there's no answer, how th there has to be an answer to those questions. How can that be? Anyway, um, I'll, I'll be checking in with you a little later. And I have just a little haul for you to see. I only needed a few things, but I did pick up some more of that foundation. And I have the shade two. This is shade one. And so let me um, switch the view and I'll let you have a look at what I bought. So guys, um, I didn't like the kiwi very much, so I went out and I got mango again. And I can't find my burgers. It seems that they're playing peekaboo this week with all the bean burgers. I mean, I, I saw rows and rows and rows of them last week. I don't know what happened to them all. They're not that popular. <laughs> but anyway, these are not the ones I normally buy, but they're not bad. I, it's just that I don't trust the ingredients as much. And um, I bought some raspberries and some more soft tofu. And uh, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be making pizza again this weekend, I, I decided not to pick up any extra vegetables because I still have a few in the refrigerator that need to be used um, because I don't want to freeze them. And so um, raspberries as well. And that, um, together with this, uh, which was 25 something, uh, I believe it was 20... Five ninety six. dollars uh, It's three dollars more expensive at the drugstore, so I think I got a little bit of a bargain. <laughs> um, I can't wait to try it tomorrow, and so um, I'll probably test it out in front of you guys. And so all of that uh, came to about $52, so there you have it. Oh, I left the water. I bought two gallons of water. I left them in the car. So um, they're missing right now. I never bring the water up. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Hi, guys. So um, I think we're going to have a very short discussion on diabetes tonight. And I'll name some of the vitamins that are useful or they, I cannot actually prevent diabetes from um, developing, um, especially if you eat a lot of fried foods. Fried foods are one of the most um, 
adversary, adversarial foods to have if you have diabetes. So it's very important that you uh, listen to what your doctor tells you. If you have developed diabetes, either type one or type two, um, please try and avoid all fried foods if you possibly can, because it's um, just going to exaggerate the situation. And um, it's unfortunate that a lot of us who love fried foods, um, I, I don't have that problem. Um, I, I guess I, you know, sometimes I have a craving for French fries, but that's about it. I don't really eat greasy foods because I know that they upset my stomach. And so uh, I need to get it out of my system. <laughs> so um, hopefully you don't have diabetes one or two, but if you know anybody who does, um, I'm going to, now from our discussion, first, before I get there, from our discussion yesterday, we uh, found out that um, in PCOS, the, um, Production of insulin is is quite a, it's high because it doesn't get um, it doesn't get broken down very easily by the pancreas and so um, that's that's what PCOS is typically about and although we don't exactly know what causes that um, that's basically the main issue with PCOS. Now, in diabetes, um, it's, um, you know, it's again, the pancreas and the insulin are out of whack. And so um, it's, it's funny that PCOS and diabetes 1 and 2 are almost a little identical in some ways. So guys, as you know, when food hits the bloodstream and the digestive system, um, if, if the pancreas is not working properly or, or something else there with the insulin is not correct, um, it, it doesn't produce enough insulin to break everything down. And so the blood sugar level remains high. And, um, it, it, that is essentially it. We don't know exactly why that happens, but um, that is essentially it. That's it. And so, um, what are some of the um, vitamins that are useful um, for taking when you do have diabetes one or two? Well, we've already discussed all of them, and so I feel comfortable throwing them back at you again. And uh, if you have missed those discussions, you can just scroll down and look at all the hash hashtags at my on my titles, and um, you'll be able to see the vitamins right there. And so, vitamin B12 is very good for that. Vitamin D, vitamin B, vitamin C, and I believe there's it's vitamin A. So um, those are very essential vitamins anyway, but they're extra special and extra helpful for those of you who have managed to develop uh, diabetes 1 and 2, type 1 and 2. Another essential uh, um, mineral or vitamin would be thiamine, which is vitamin B1. Now, guys, before you do take any of these vitamins, if you do decide that you want to try to take vitamins for any reason, doesn't have to be if you think you're diabetic or whatever, I, I really think that you need to discuss this with a physician or a pharmacist. If you're not, if you're not in need of medical attention, um, I just want, uh, you know, with some general good advice, uh, a pharmacist would probably be a good place to start, or a nutritionist. But if you are under doctor's care, please consult with a doctor, because um, this is just a general rundown of what diabetes 
could benefit from, but you never know. Um, it could be that you have another condition that is not going to take too very well with one of these vitamins. Now, some of them, um, you have to be careful in not taking too much. And so that's why I check it out with your doctor, do some research on your own. I always encourage you to do your own research because you never know what you can come up with when you look on your own. And so guys, um, hopefully <laughs> now I will not make myself out to be a liar and I will end the video because uh, I have been putting out such very long videos um, which haven't been very difficult to do, but it, they're too long. And um, it, I, I think they're too long in a sense that uh, it, it, I could make them shorter. So there, um, I do enjoy making them long. I, I don't expect you to watch every second of it. No, um, whatever you like to watch, watch as much of them as you want or as much as you can or whatever you strikes your fancy. I am doing them long so I could get my hours in. And I do enjoy doing long videos. Um, they're very interesting to me because I, I try to take the same thought and idea and try to take it through the entire day, which is sometimes very exhausting because... Um, Sometimes I get so distracted by ridiculous things that happen to me, like today, forgetting my wallet at home. <laughs> that made me laugh. I haven't done that for myself in a long time. Usually I'm upset about, you know, disasters and, and crises and things that go wrong, but today I had to laugh. Um, but uh, it didn't, it, it took a couple of hours out of my day, but everything went fine. Um, I, I didn't realize at first why I didn't have my wallet. I thought, my goodness, I've been robbed. But no, it wasn't that. It was that I just picked up the wrong coat. You know what I mean? So <laughs> um, anyway, I really hope that you have managed to take a little bit of something away from this video today. Um, maybe I didn't really talk too much about diabetes because um, I think it's a fairly common issue. And I, you know, I researched it and it's, this one I could do very briefly. And so I did. Um, there isn't that much that can be explained about diabetes other than the fact that the pancreas um, doesn't work as well as as it should with the insulin. And that is why a diabetes develops. But also, you know, um, that's basically it in a nutshell. I do believe that I think more, more research could be done on this. I think studies are being done, but um, it's very hard to pinpoint one exact particular cause. Of course, heredity has a lot to do with it. If your parents and grandparents on all sides had it, then you're going to have to be careful because that's just the way it goes, uh, doesn't it? And so um, I, I would look into those vitamins if I were you. If you are uh, diagnosed with diabetes type 1 or type 2, please speak to your doctor about um if you haven't already, I mean, it, it's always good to investigate vitamins and their benefits. Um, that's why they're good for us. But we have to make sure that we don't misuse them or overuse them. So that's why it's always good to have a physician guiding you along or a great pharmacist. So um, I, I hope that you have managed to take a little bit of something away from all this. And um, I am anxiously waiting for updates on the Julia Wendell um, DNA situation. But I, you know, it may be nothing. It may not be what we are thinking it could be. And maybe it will. But, you know, the more I, I think about the photographs and little Maddie, Maddie, Maddie McCann and... Um, Livia at that age, 
what a resemblance. Um, it, Livia looks like the sketch, like the, um, how do I say this? She looks like the um, age advanced sketch of Maddie at six. You know what I mean? Um, so little Livia does look like little Maddie, even in that respect. But you never know. It may not be. And even if it may not be, I'm, I'm very sure that Julia is... I don't want to say that I'm very sure, but the memories that evade her, that says an awful lot, guys. That, that spells to me, in most cases, trauma. Um, I don't know if Julia has developed um, amnesia or has blocked it out or had a head in. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't want to make the situation worse for her and her family, you know, but I, I do um, question why the birth certificate is not forthcoming. Uh, are they busy trying to create one or is it lost? Or well, why won't the mother supply the birth certificate? I mean, this is now official police business. You can't evade the law like that. Um, she needs help. This girl, whatever her reason will be, she needs her birth certificate. And maybe that's why the mother doesn't want to give it to her. But that's not a valid reason. She's, what, 18, 19, 20? I don't know. She doesn't know either. Um, I, I hope the situation works out. And I, I do think that Julia and her family need counseling because this is going to, if they don't get the guidance that they need, first they have to get to the bottom of this. Um, if they don't end up getting the um, guidance that they need, it could, it could really end in a bad separation of Julia from, of, you know, Julie, Julia from her um familiar parents, her, her familiar grandfather and grandmother. I, I don't even know what to say, but um, I would highly recommend that if you are interested in this case and get into the bottom of it, um, Christina Randall posted a video yesterday, and I will try to link that video in my description box below it is wonderful, guys. It, she came out with some fantabulous points. And she really, uh, what I like about Christina Randall is she gets to the truth. Even if she doesn't come right out with it, she'll show it to you. And um, she has her way. I think she would make an incredible journalist and reporter. She has that way of getting at the facts. And... Um, you know, I I have been following her channel for so many years now, but um, I, I like I said yesterday, I'm I'm careful. That there's a lot of people who go through her channel, and so I have to <laughs> delete my comments if they get spammed. Um, but uh, usually she's on top of stuff like that. I I don't have any real problem with other than that. That's the whole. You know, I'm having a lot of problems with spamming in a lot of big channels, but, um, you know, I certainly don't hold the YouTube content owners responsible, but I don't want my comments to be there if people are going to be spamming it because you never know what it can do to my computer. So, um, and it just so happens my computer has acted as though it wants to conk out on me. But I hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, guys, um, I will try to keep you post-dated and updated, um, updated with um, news about the Maddie McCann situation and Julia Wendell. And I, I, you know, I hope that we find both of them, uh, Livia, I should say. I hope we found find them all. And 
I don't know, it's just so many missing children. It's discouraging to hear stories like this. It's sad. It's sad. And, you know, we can dwell on neglectful tactics and, and miss clues. We can dwell on that or we can move on and, and find new ways of looking for information. I think it's better that we do that instead of going back into the past and, you know, looking at all the things that didn't get done properly. You know, in a time of crisis, Things don't get done properly, no matter how well you can plan them out. And so, you know, some police investigations are, are very well intended, but sometimes it just gets out of hand. And I, I know that that night that Maddie McCann went missing, tens of scores of people trampled through that apartment before it was even cautioned off. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not something that, I, I think the situation began with people just uh, automatically assuming, well, we're gonna find her because she's just wandered off somewhere. You know what I mean? It, they probably didn't realize it would turn into the biggest case of missing child in history almost um, because it's so high profile too. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off now, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and coming along with me today to Walmart. <laughs> um, yes, most of my excitement is spent, you know, afternoons at Walmart. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for listening and watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.